let us now see this question which is saying that a coin is tossed tossed the probability of getting head is p okay you're tossing a coin the probability that you get head is p which means the probability of head is, is small p and which is which is a non zero number and which is uh, which is also uh, less than 1 let n be the random variable denoting the number of tosses till the first head appears right so they have defined n to be a random variable and the number of tosses tosses till the first head appears including the toss where the head appears which means let's suppose the third head appears at uh, at let's suppose oh sorry the head appears at let let's suppose at at uh, this particular toss which means third toss then n will be three which means including the number where the third toss uh, th uh, like including in, including the toss where the head has actually appeared right okay so they are saying i mean uh, see in this case in this case n will be four and in this case n will be uh, n will be five i mean here the n is four because you need to count till head it's not three it's not like before head you need to count no it's four right okay now they are saying assuming that successive tosses are independent than expected value of n which means how much how much uh, number of tries on an expect on an average or how much number of tries do you expect such that the head appears right see what we can say here is that there 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 will be two things which will occur either head appears or tail appears if head appears then you will stop right away and then you will say that n value is 1 if tail appears then you can say that you have already spended uh, spent uh, one one toss and now in future you can spend e number of tosses e or n whatever you want you, you would like to say no okay uh, let's suppose this is e i mean e of n or just e whatever you would like to say right so from here you can just make a equation uh, which is which is 1 by 2 into 1 plus 1 by 2 into 1 plus e now which is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 e which is implying e by 2 equal to 1 which is basically e equal to 2 which means expected number of tries to get okay sorry this is not 1 by 2 right this is uh, p so let me write p here p and 1 minus p i think okay so let me write p and 1 minus p so this is e equal to p into 1 plus so this is p and this is 1 minus p this is 1 minus p this is p p into 1 plus 1 minus p into 1 plus e so this will be p plus 1 minus p plus e minus ep and that is e equal to which is getting cancelled out and then this is 1 plus e minus ep i think right equal to e and this will get cancelled out this is 0 so ep is 1 and from here e equal to 1 upon p right so that's how you can solve this question which means expected number of tries to get head is basically 1 upon p so what is the correct answer here i think a is the correct answer so as i told you that this particular question is not just limited uh, limited to uh, just probability like in in many different cases you will see this particular question so the question may be something like this uh, see here i am saying the head right they will say the success so here head getting head i mean you can define your success in any way like getting head is a success or maybe getting tail is a, uh, tail is a success whatever is the success for you so they will say that probability of success success is let's suppose uh, they will say p the probability of success is p so how many trials you need to make such that the su success happens right how many trials such that you get succeeded that is equal to 1 upon p right for the success you need 1 upon p how many expected trials basically So this is one template I can say, right? This is a template of question that they might they might be asking. Instead of success, they can say head. Instead of success, they can say some other thing also, right? But this is the template.
ओके नाउ मे बी आई कैन गो टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन और और मे बी लेट मी जस्ट गिव यू वन एनालॉजी और वन वन पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन दैट इज इन द कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क देन दे कैन से दैट सपोज दिस इज अ सेंडर सेंडर विच इज सेंडिंग समथिंग टू अ रिसीवर and this sender is basically uh, sending uh, sending a data or data packet with a probability with a probability i mean get get to the receiver with the probability p let's suppose right and with 1 minus p probability it doesn't get to the receiver then how many packets you need to send such that you make sure that packet has been delivered okay so the probability of receiving packet you can say receiving packet successfully packet successfully is p so expected number of packets expected number of tries try every try is just one packet right uh, expected number of tries or expected number of a packets whatever you want like to say expected number of tries to send just one packet packet successfully this is basically equal to how much 1 upon p right i mean this kind of question uh, people ask in computer networks so as i said like uh, this particular type of questions are not just limited to probability so they will be asking this kind of question in computer networks so we will see this later right let me write it here we will see this later in fact there has been gate pyqs exactly this this is actually a gate pyq gate pyq in, in cn exactly this exactly this nothing changed exactly this there has been one gate pyq actually this is a template i mean they will say the probability of success is p then how many tries you need to get succeed which is 1 upon p right and uh, like you can see that that has been asking probability exactly same pyq just just saying that okay sender receiver that has been asked in computer networks exactly same pyq uh, same particular question has been asked in many places right so i hope you understood this template now let's just solve this question which has been asked in tifr this is very nice question what they are saying ram has a fair coin so uh, first of all like uh, sorry to uh, go back in this question we have just solved this question using method 1 right i just ask you to solve this question using method 2 just for your sake of practice and method 3 as an homework okay these these method are homework for question 9 just for your sake of practice just do do these questions as an homework now let's just do this question they are saying ram has a fair coin that is toss of a coin result in either head or tail each event happens with probability 1 by 2 okay he repeatedly so they are saying that probability of head and probability of tail is 1 by 2 he repeatedly tosses the coin until he gets heads in two consecutive tosses so this is very interesting now they are not saying that until he get head they are saying you want to you want to uh, get two heads in a row right in in two consecutive uh, rows the expected number of coin tosses that ram does so how many how many tosses he ne he needs to get two heads in a row so basically this is a question where we are asking two heads in a row right so what will happen you may be getting head you may be getting tail if you are getting head you toss it again you may be getting head you may be getting tail you stop it here if you are getting tail then what you will do so in these cases what you will do so this is a tree diagram here you have you have spent two tosses here what you will do what do you think want to restart your process right you have to restart the process here also you have to restart the process so you will be restarting your process now you can see that here uh, you you need you have already wasted two and then e in the future you have already wasted two and e in the future so this is 1 by 2 probability 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 you will be writing e equal to 2 into 1 by 4 with 1 by 4 probability you need two tries with 1 by 4 probability you need two plus e tries with 1 by 2 probability you will be needing two plus e tries right so let me go to the next page the e is with 1 by 4 probability you will be needing two tries with 1 by 4 probability you will be needing 2 plus e tries 
a two two plus a tries your process plus one by two probability you will be needing. Uh, sorry, this is not two plus e. This is just one plus e. Uh, that's interesting. This is just one plus e. With one by two probability, you will be needing one plus e, right? Now let's just solve it. This is one by two plus one by two plus e by four plus one by two plus e by two. Right, so this is one, this is one plus, this is one by two plus, this is two e by four and then three by four. This is e, right? Okay. So uh, that is why uh, you can just solve it. This is uh, I think three by two. This is three by two and then e by four, e by four equal to three by two, which is I think e equal to six, right? So you need six tries. On on average, to get two heads in a row, right? So I hope you understood this question. Now this is just using the method one I did. If you want, you can do using method two. This is just using method one. Maybe maybe let's just try using method two. Method two, uh, actually, it is infinite series for the method two. Uh, but uh, instead of infinite series, like actually the infinite series is little tricky here. Uh, that's why I, I just want to try the method three, I think, where I will just grow the tree partially. Okay, so this is partially growing the tree, partially growing tree. I mean, I don't need to do it because we uh, because these methods are just for your sake of illustration. Always we will be using method one, but still, uh, let's just see. This is head tail, and this is head tail, and instead of stopping here, instead of I mean I say that I can restart, I'm again doing head tail. Let's suppose I I grow this tree to this level, okay? Like let's suppose this is the tree that I have. So here two tries, here two plus e, here uh, okay that's interesting. If you get head, you can't restart, you can't stop, right? So maybe with the head, I think let's just do it in this way, yeah. So you will stop here. This is three. This is three plus e, and then this is two plus e, right? So the probabilities are here. This is one by two. This is one by two. Everything is one by two, one by two, right? So you can write, I think, the equation. So so one by four into two plus two plus e. The one by four into two plus e plus two plus e. Two plus e plus one by eight into three plus One by eight into three plus one by eight into three plus e, right? So this is your equation of e, which is four six six plus two e six plus two e divided by four six plus e divided by eight. And this is your e, right? So you are getting how much? This is eight uh, e equal to twelve twelve plus Four e plus six plus e, which is five e, and then this is three e uh, equal to eighteen, which means e equal to six, right? E equal to six. So from here also you will be getting e equal to six. I hope you understood this. Easy one, right? Once you understand the complete method, then uh, then using using either method one or method two or method three, it is easy. Method two is basically infinite series, and I actually solved it. But infinite series in this case is very 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 tricky. Last year we did that, but I don't want to do it now. Okay, so infinite series because it's not worthy. Good. Now let's see this question. Let the random variable x represents the number of fair coin needed to be tossed until two consecutive heads. Oh, that's the same question, exactly same question that they've asked, isn't it? Two consecutive heads. So here in TIFR they've asked in two thousand fifteen. Oh, here also they've asked in two thousand fifteen. Okay. That's awesome. That's in the same year they are repeating, right? Anyway, uh, one was in TIF or another one is, was in GATE. So, and in, in the same year, uh, the same question has been asked. That's that's probably by coincidence. Anyway, the um, the expectation of x, the e x here will be six. We have already solved it, right? The same question. This is same question. Okay. Now let's solve this question. What they are saying? An unbiased bias coin is repeated until the outcome of two successive tosses is same, and then they are asking the expected number of tries. So they are saying that either two heads, 
either two heads or two tails right either you want two heads or you want two tails which means head head or tail tail that's what we want this is what question is saying now let's just see see either head comes or tail comes and then here here if head comes you will stop because you want either this and then with the tail because since it is not same you 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 will you will be doing it again with the tail you will say that okay head comes tail comes so here in these two cases you will stop stop but here can you restart can you say 2 plus e something like this 2 plus e something like this so the problem here is that you can't restart because you have already gotten one head, one tail now you are looking for one more tail right i mean you can't say you're restarting you have something to start with basically you are not nullifying everything you have one tail with you similarly you have one head with you so you 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 don't you actually don't need 2 plus e 2 plus e is too much here right it is too much why it is too much because e is the number where you don't have anything and then then you, you then number of ties to get either head or tail tail but here you have something here you have something right now if you can't write 2e and neither you can stop so should you go to the infinite series or or what you will do so i mean i'm not solving this uh, this question in this video i will be solving in the next video and i just want you to solve this question i i'm i'm almost sure you want to be able to do it because this is the first kind of question first question of a different kind basically okay so just try try it give it a try and let's just see if you can come up with something okay cool so just give it a try yeah we will be solving this in the next video so this is a very good question very very tough i can say okay quite tough question very nice question just give it give your best maybe if you, even if it is taking one hour uh, just to try this question but it is worth okay try out this question maybe even if it is taking one hour we will be meeting in the next video yeah thank you so much